Hi everybody, this is Ronald and in this video we solve a huge problem that I have to deal with all the time when I'm shooting videos, white balance. Basically, you have to calibrate your camera to get realistic colors of what you film. That's the most simple definition of white balance. If you don't do this, the whole image could look too warm or too cool on screen. I ended up using these white cards or gray cards um, because I didn't want to color correct every single footage in post-production. I know you can do that in post-production, but in my opinion it doesn't look as accurate as if you would set the white balance in camera. The whole color correction stuff has its limitations, especially if you use an 8-bit camera as I do, I use an EOS R, and not a 10-bit camera. Of course, most of the cameras have the possibility to set a Kelvin color temperature, but I'm pretty bad in guessing what Kelvin value I have in the room I'm currently filming. So I really like to use these because here I can measure the white value and do not have to guess it. Of course I know daylight has about 5600, but it always depends on the location you are filming in. So I really like to use these white cards because I don't have to guess anything, I can just measure a pure white and set it in camera. But there are still some things you need to know when you use a grey card. In some cameras you can make a photo of this card and tap on the image to tell them this is white. Use this as my white value. I have a Canon EOS R where this is not possible. And therefore it's very necessary to know where do I have to put this board in the image so that the camera recognizes it as white. Because I did not know that, I didn't know does it have to fill the whole screen, does it have to be in center, how does he recognize what is white, I made some tests and I want to share them with you. First of all I want to know if the white area has to fill the whole screen or if it's okay if it's a small area. I used each of these images for my white balance and this is what came out. With a completely white image I filmed my white card and placed a color checker in front of it. The surface of the whiteboard is represented by this high area and you can see that the red channel is a bit lifted, but no problem to correct at all. And this does not change no matter which image I use for the white balance. But things change when I move the white area out of center. The logic doesn't recognize the white area anymore, it takes the green from the center and sets it as white. But is really only the center used for the white balance? What if I place a colored element left of the white area? Well, the result is perfectly fine. So the solution is put this in the center of your screen, make a photo and set this photo as reference for your white balance. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, maybe give me a like below, maybe subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you again in the next one.